Apple Arcade is now available for iOS 13, so in this video, we'll guide you through everything you need to know about it, including how to sign up, how to connect the controller, and how to cancel your subscription. And we'll also discuss if it's actually worth $5 a month. So let's get started. You can find the Apple Arcade tab within the App Store, where you'll instantly see a bunch of games. To get started, tap Try It Free for a free one month trial, which you can cancel at any time. If you head to the bottom of the Apple Arcade tab, you'll see a full list of 59 games available at launch. And keep in mind that Apple will continue to add more games in the coming months, with at least 100 in total. You can see a preview of each game and you'll see which ones support multiplayer, how large the games are, and if they support controllers, like the Xbox One controller. If you have one, here's how to connect it and use it to play Apple Arcade. Open the settings app on your iPhone, tap on Bluetooth, and make sure it's enabled. Then grab your Xbox One controller, make sure it's charged and turned on, then press and hold the pairing button on the top of the controller. Your Xbox controller should now show up on your iPhone. Tap on it and you're done. Now head into a game that supports controllers and boom! The UI switches to controller mode and it just works. And it works well. The setup should be basically identical with the PlayStation 4 or MFI certified controller. Games are downloaded straight to the home screen just like any other app. Now let's quickly run through my top 3 favorite games that I've tried so far on Apple Arcade. The best one is probably Oceanhorn 2, which is an adventure game that's very similar to Zelda. The mechanics are absolutely excellent, and it works incredibly well with the controller. I love that you can search the entire map looking for hidden loot and treasure chests with rare items. Combat is pretty fun because it's actually challenging in some areas of the game, and the graphics are amazing. Next up is LEGO Brawler, which is very similar to Super Smash Bros. You can jump up and down platforms and fight other brawlers with unique abilities that you can pick up throughout the map. You can customize your brawler's loadout with items that you unlock from randomized chests that you don't have to buy with in-app purchases. That's nice for a change. It's great because you can brawl with real people from around the world by simply tapping Brawl, or you can host your own game that comes with a unique invite code that you can text to your friends and either play 2 vs 2 or 4 vs 4 matches. It's a pretty fun game, especially if you're very competitive with your friends. In fact, there are many multiplayer games on Apple Arcade that allow you to connect and play with real people around the world, which is a huge must for people who don't like single player games. On to my third favorite game, Card Pocalypse, which is basically like the card game Hearthstone, except that it's mixed into an RPG that has a character walking around their school talking to other students, battling them, and collecting cards for your custom deck. The game mechanics work very well and basically just like Hearthstone, but you can actually trade cards with other characters, so it's pretty unique for RPG lovers. I've honestly only tried a few games so far, so I'm sure there are much better games, but I'm actually surprised because these three games have been very polished and have been able to keep me busy for a few hours so far. So with that, let's answer the main question. Is Apple Arcade worth $5 a month? Well first off, it's $5 for the entire family, up to 6 different Apple accounts. So if you have any kids on your family plan that like video games, I would say that it's 100% worth it. There are no ads your kids have to deal with, and no in-app purchases, so it could actually end up being cheaper than a lot of free games on the App Store that tempt you into buying in-app purchases. If you're a casual user that plays games at least once or twice a week, I would say it's definitely worth getting Apple Arcade as a quick fix for when you're bored or waiting somewhere like at the doctor's office. Now if you're a hardcore gamer that spends most of their time gaming, it's gonna be a hit or miss, but there are actually some really great games like Oceanhorn 2 that'll give you hours and hours of gameplay, and there are huge lists of achievements for a lot of the games, so if you're a sucker for getting all of them, Apple Arcade is 100% worth the money and it'll keep you busy for months. Now if you absolutely must play AAA titles, it may not be worth it for you, and if you're super competitive online, there are quite a few online multiplayer games on Apple Arcade. So to be completely honest, after only playing a few games, I'm 100% sure that it's worth $5 a month for a lot of people. Not everyone, but for a lot of people. You can cancel the subscription at any time before a month passes, so you don't get charged at all. So if you're getting bored of Apple Arcade, here's how to cancel it. Go to the settings app on your iPhone, tap your name at the top of the screen, tap iTunes in App Store, tap on your Apple ID, and tap View Apple ID. Authenticate with your password or Face ID. Then scroll down and tap on Subscriptions. Apple Arcade should show up. Tap on it, and finally, tap Cancel, and you're done. Overall, I'd say that I'm very impressed with how polished each game has been. 
They all work very well and I haven't noticed any bugs yet. There are games for every age group, starting with Frogger for very young children and up to games like Oceanhorn 2 for teens and adults who love adventure games like Zelda. And if you think about it, some people spend $30 to $60 on a game that they sometimes stop playing after only two months. I can honestly say that even if you get bored of Apple Arcade two months later, that $5 you spent after the free trial would be well worth it. So I've got to give props to Apple for creating Apple Arcade at such a great price. If you enjoy this video, click the circle above to subscribe for more videos like this one and check out some of our iPhone 11 Pro coverage right there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.